Hi guys, just want to do a quick video on my Z offset calibration. Uh, I had so much problems using the uh, the Z axis uh, push the NSOP. So you see, it's just doing X, Y, and then it's just using the probe to go to the center. And then now it's doing a quad level gantry. And then it will raise up um, the filament, uh, the hot end, to, um, to its uh, maximum, and then it'll just begin. So, pretty simple uh, process here. And um, that has really improved my first layers. It's really easy to implement. Um, it also makes uh, Z-axis limit switch. You don't have to worry about it. Another good thing is you don't have to worry about, um, you know, how people have installed um, uh, wiping away your filament with one of those brushes. Because I never do that with any of my other printers. The whole point is it all purges away on your side or whatever on the front of the printer. Um, so this is making it like every other printer I have like rat rig and Prusas and it's been working so far really good the only thing you have to change is like it's literally like one line actually maybe two lines um, go to your printer config and we're gonna go find uh, your probe where you have your probe stuffs stuffs uh, basically two things you gotta remember probe and safety home um, so safety home, um, you're going to set it to the center. So for a 350, 350, 350 millimeter uh, printer, I got it at 175, 175. Obviously, you have 200, it's going to be 100, 100. Um, just comment out the old XY position. Don't worry about it. That that pretty much get rid, rid, rid of um, that stuff you don't, you don't really need. And then go to your, uh, let's see, probe. Are you holding the computer? Where's the probe? Uh, here you go. Probe. The only thing you have to change is get rid of the Z offset here. I commented out. All right, Z offset. Z. You can set it to zero. I, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's. Oh no, there's there is a um, there's one more setting. Uh, you have to go find your Z offset. So go to stepper Z, and you see where the end stop pin is. You're gonna change that to uh, end stop pin is gonna become probe Z virtual end stop. That makes your probe a virtual end stop. All right, and then the only thing you have to do is if you have a Z, like a Z end stop offset at the bottom that it adds, you need to now you need to use probe Z offset. So erase those two lines, save and restart, and then go into your console and do 